What is going on guys? Welcome to episode 4 of my Wolves Let's Play series in Football Manager 2018. Again, if you're new to the series, this is with the updates up until when I started this save anyway uh, for uh, this database. So if there's been recent transfers made in like last week or so, uh, yeah, they're obviously not going to be updated. But obviously Wolves in the Premier League, that's... Uh, hopefully that's going to last because we haven't started so well. But guys, if you do want to be seeing more of this, obviously I may be inconsistent with uploads over this World Cup period. Definitely heavily watching the World Cup, really enjoying it. Only once every four years, so might as well, <laughs> yeah, take it all in. Uh, but yeah, definitely if you want to see this be a series I do up until Football Manager 2019, uh, let me know in the comments and leave a thumbs up. That will be greatly appreciated. As you know, I'll be recording it as a Let's Play series series and you'll be seeing everything I I do for the most part so uh, yeah and there'll be longer uh, longer episodes so hopefully you do enjoy those and I feel this episode is going to be huge definitely going to at least play two games I'll have to see yeah, how long I'll do the episodes as well if I'll continue to do them really long uh, we'll see how they progress but yeah nothing really happened like I said nothing happened <laughs> since the end of the last episode until now and yeah I'll generally start it at the next match, uh, the next match, unless something happens midweek, <laughs> uh, really important, but right now, to me, this is a must win, the Cardiff and Fulham matches, see, it's no surprise, the yeah, newly promoted sides are, are struggling, and it's different to a new football manager game, because they've still got largely the same squad and the same ratings for those players as when they would have been in the championship, so that's an extra challenge, and that's what I want, <laughs> really, I, w I want a challenge, that's why I'm doing this, so yeah, these are musts, the, especially uh, the home matches as well, like, these are, these are must wins, uh, let me know on the selection, I don't, I'm still, I don't mind how we're playing, like, how we're playing is all right, and this is the attacking formation, normally, yeah, most games in the league will be that, uh, but we'll go with the attacking one uh, for these uh, for these games, which I feel, well, hey, we may not even be so much better than Cardiff. Maybe it's the squad a little bit, a um, little bit better, but yeah, not going to be <laughs> majorly. So we're just going get to get into the match. Uh, we're only missing Ryan Bennett, who's injured. Everyone else is available for selection. Uh, Jordan Graham, uh, he wants a new contract. He was a bit upset with that. Uh, we'll just have to see what we're going to do. Uh, Matt Doherty has been one of the best. Andre Andre, who we recently brought in, uh, signed him. Uh, I think pretty good, pretty good fee, 4.2 million, uh, just to add to the Portuguese <laughs> Portuguese lads in the side. And he'll definitely uh, fit into the dynamics. If we go into the social groups, uh, it won't take him. Yeah, it hasn't taken. He's in the core. See, he's in the core social group right away. Opposed to maybe a new signing you'd make, he would struggle to come in if you look. At Willy Bolly, he's just um, joined. So, if you take a look at that, um, yeah, that's why. <laughs> that's why essentially. So that's a big thing. That's a big thing. And I always talk about the the. the Okay, the players aren't happy. They're not enjoying football. What? It's still early in the season, so another reason we need to get a win. But yeah, like I said, another reason why Football Manager 2018 is not exactly the same as Football Manager 2017 and previous games, uh, like some weird people like to suggest in <laughs> like the football, like on my older videos or at the start of or just before FM18 was released. People said, "Oh, it's the same. There's no new features." When they're clearly presenting new features, showcase. It's like uh, people like fanboys can be absolutely crazy <laughs> or whatever the opposite to fanboy for the same game is because football manager there's no competitor like when i compare fifa and pez fanboys i'm talking about but anyway let's just get into this match right now guys and yeah with these even more so than usual like you were free range commentary so you guys don't get bored because i know some of you guys you want to look for a series and i've seen some comments people say um i listen to your commentary in the video i don't watch the video exactly because uh, i play it while i'm playing football manager myself so i'm trying to get in that mind frame obviously not everyone does that the majority probably don't even do that but yeah, I don't know. If I make them longer episodes, <laughs> that percentage might might increase anyway. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll just have to see. Uh, so yeah, I can't <laughs> just do it that way. But you know what I mean. That's the that's the style I want to produce these series in anyway. So uh, yeah, hopefully we can end the run of form. Just end the team talk. And um, not the best weather football. Ninety nine percent of players aren't bothered. 
let's see how we go, guys. This will be a true representation, this match here. And especially with our style, how we are going, how the players are understanding tactically the way we want to play, how I want them to play. And guys, I talked about a competitor with four football manager games, a championship manager, one of the, obviously that stopped being made, but like the last couple games that they had, they had like training, you could, you could actually train your players and see them in 3D like the gameplay here that was amazing if anyone played that uh let me know what you thought of that and if football manager should have something similar because i don't know they should add that i feel like i want to make a video um or i want to make a video about that for a feature video let me know if you want to see that from myself and put the ideas forward uh in the video uh, i'll probably have to look for some old championship manager gameplay but yeah i actually enjoyed that part of that game just from my uh memory but Right now, we've got to focus here. Look at that build-up. The build-up is good. I've already mentioned it in this series so far in matches that we just need a better finishing quality. Saiz from range. Oh, my God. That was that was not a bad effort. Like, he was like, oh, we're not going to score. So, he just like effort and takes a shot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Come on. Bart out of defense. Ruben Neves. He's going to be big. He's going to be big for us. Now... Oh, hell the cost. See, look at all these opportunities we're creating. Is this going to be a card? Give him... Who's this? Rolls? What is... Ooh, that's for Joe Rolls there. He picks up a yellow. And come on. Douglas. Oh, I've been... <laughs> I've been waiting for him to hit a sweet free kick. Because, mate, you've got 18 free kick taking. You've got to do something with that. Should I train him to take free kicks with power? Maybe it could be beneficial to him. Because that's one of his best parts of his game. And his crossing's good as well. So he's equally good at maybe, yeah, whipping one in. So... We've got to see something, and Diogo Jota, he's getting back now, he's well, almost, uh, yeah, I think after this match, he'll get close to 100% match sharpness, uh, one of the best players in the team, and we need him to shine, so, let's see how we go, it's Hoylet, Hoylet, no, they're going to get through, see, one, one chance, one goal, that's what I hate, that's what I hate, and that's from the team. I'm not saying, oh, that's a problem in the game. That's what I hate, a football manager. It's annoying, sure, but my players, oh, why you let them have one chance? Look, look here. What? Who's Saiz? I want, mm, I'd love for bl to block the space, if anyone knows instruction-wise how to set it like that, but he's in defensive midfield. Uh, I feel center mids were covering, so he could push back, but anyway... Uh, all part of the frustration. To me, this had to be a win. And we've st we've played well. Look at this. Come on. Get a good ball in. Do something. Yes. That's better. That's better. What? What a goal. Don't think. Do. Do. Don't think. Do. If you're from Australia and you follow AFL, you probably know that reference. But yes, that's better. Come on. Come on. It would have been nice to do that before conceding a goal, though. Come on. Come on. Just getting pumped up here. Oh, come on, Andre, Andre. He's almost won the ball a couple times there. Oh, my God. We just scored. Oh, my God. The Hoylet and the assist by Ashcan the Jagger. Ashcan. There you go. Let's take a look at the goal. Where, again, mm, we've got players there. It was just a good ball in. The defending is not good enough. That Again, it's the opposite side of thing, well, things. Like where we had chances and we're not taking them, this is where your defensive ability is not good enough, or our defensive ability. Why are they disenchanted? That's weird. Yeah, frustrated, I can see that. Willy Bolly's nervous. Oh, man, these... This is why you don't really see me doing too many saves like with lower league, Premier League sides because, and this is even harder because uh, in FM18, the Wolves is a championship side, but oh man, it's like each game is a battle 
And this is against a team we should be beating, I think. Like, or in terms of the chance of winning a game <laughs> this season in the Premier League, uh, the, or the games we have a chance to win at home against Cardiff, surely this has to be it. But it may be a weird day because Bournemouth are leading against Manchester United. So that's... <laughs> uh, let's... Give him a bit of a spray there. Expect to see much better and take a look tactically. Uh, we've got to be going a bit more direct. Go higher tempo, go into this next half. Take off that work ball into the box and play out of defense. And be more expressive, we'll put on. We've got to be going into, yeah, this next half. And Saiz, I feel like we're going to go three central midfielders. Uh, might be another case where he doesn't step up and <laughs> and defend. But, oh, we need something. We need something. I feel maybe I'll save a change so I can set up with two strikers because right now, yeah, man, that's de defending, defending troubles, guys. That's that's hurting us. And like I said, as much as this is like a must win because, like I already mentioned, like the chances of beating other teams this season, it it doesn't mean Cardiff is a bad like so much worse than us like i said they'd be a similar quality so it's kind of that even game but right now we're behind ah uh, yeah come on gotta be gotta be seeing better and Manchester city is killing fulham see the goals conceded i don't have to repeat it all the time though but come on we need it back andre andre show something silver oh yeah silver is jota isn't it can you edit the players' names? Does he go by Silver? <laughs> Let me know. I didn't watch the championship. This don't get championship televised in Australia. So, uh, guys, 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 what do, we might have to make that? Yeah, maybe one of the who's been. Oh, I don't want to take Nevers. He's the best player. Andre on Saiz. Sorry, I got to have the best setup in my mind. Anyway. Uh, Bonatini, complete forward, play complete forward, deep, uh, d uh, defensive forward, uh, that, yeah, mm, maybe that could work, and we will look for the overlap, look for the overlap, and guys, at this point, uh, we'll be going route one, we gotta go, <sighs> what other options, I don't, <laughs> I don't even know, because right now, guys, oh, it's, it's tough, and you know there was limited, uh, limited, <laughs> limited transfer budget. Oh, very tough, very tough to do this kind of save now with the updates without yeah, having all their transfers they'd make uh, for the upcoming season. Ugh. But I, I told myself I wanted a challenge. I just want them to step up. I thought this was a good tactic. <laughs> Come on, Andre, Andre. <laughs> He comes up. Wow. Oh, it's going to be an own goal. He doesn't... Oh, Callum, he doesn't deserve that to his name. <laughs> oh, man, I swear when my reactions, crazy reactions like that, my voice goes high, like... <laughs> crazy level, but... <laughs> oh, wow. Andre, Andre, he's come up here as a giant. Come on, that has to spur us on. Come on. Douglas, good time. Got to be careful. He's on a yellow. Might have to talk to him. But see, we just need momentum and confidence. How the Costa? Ah, uh, he lacked that. A bit of skill. See, better quality. <laughs> oh, man. No, not a corner. Don't concede. It's a set play and we clear it. That's good. So we got a lot back. Hoylet's injured. Okay. A, this is what you get, though. You get intense matches uh, when we put two up front. That's the way to go. At least we know that. So, uh, Matt Doherty is not doing that great here. But we still... We want to push for a win. We've got to. Uh, Vinny Gray... Uh, Douglas... Mm, but our centre-backs are the ones that have been poor. I was almost in Connor Cody to start because he actually had, like, similar rating. But, yeah, Barry Douglas is on a yellow. So, we're going to... We're at home. So, we're going to go for... We're going to go complete wing-back uh, for him. He's still supposed to be natural left wing back, but it doesn't have a natural role in it. So, and Judy. So mm, we'll just <laughs> we'll just do that, and mm, we're still pushing. We're still pushing. We'll leave one more sub because there's hey, there's 20 minutes left. Let's push. I feel maybe a shout. Let's say, 
Oh, what could we say? Put, yeah, push forward. Come on, guys. Can we get a winner? Oh, imagine. Can we do it? Andre, Andre again. Bonatini. Andre, Andre. Oh, he's playing with some confidence. So let me know of the signing of Andre, Andre. He's shown today with the goal. And Ruben Neves got the score. Come on, Ruben. Ruben Neves. That's the way to go. And then compared to the last goal, my voice there has a bit more just aggression in it. <laughs> it goes both ways. Uh, it's a flip of a coin sometimes. Just, uh, come on. We've got the lead now. We've got the lead, but we can't lose it. See, that's the thing. Sometimes your team plays better. You're not playing better defensively, but it's more... Like, the goals you concede, like, the chances are low. If you're going attacking, you're creating more of the chances yourself. So, if I go defensive now, I feel like there's a chance of me conceding. You know what I mean? Let me know if you feel the same. But I feel like maybe we'll take someone like a Matt Doherty off and we'll bring on Dominic Iorfa. I like him as a player. Um, get him fullback position. He could be defensive fullback. Then we mix that with Vinigre. So, yeah, um, maybe we'll just put him on on support. On support. Because, yeah, fullback is not a good role. So, I'm trying to get the right mix here, guys. I feel if we continue to attack, it's going to be better for us. That's <laughs> that's what I'm just feeling like right now. If we go defensive, we sit back. It lets us attack. Uh, or lets them attack us, which we don't want. And if we keep going like this, we could just get another. Vinigre Jr. Bonatini. See, we look more dangerous. So that's my tip to you guys. It really depends on the occasion, though. But sometimes it's best just to keep going the way you are, especially if you'll keep creating chances. Ooh, Cardiff City awarded a free kick. So this has been a grind. Just when they're going forward, that was soft. You tell me that's a that's like a card, like a yellow card as well. Offense for uh, Vinigre Junior. Maybe it's hard to tell with Football Manager with the 3D gameplay because you can't you can't exactly tell what's going on. So still, we're just gonna say concentrate here. We've used all our subs as well, so we can't really revert too much in terms of uh, what was it gonna do. See, mm, he's just not very good in that role. That's the only concerning thing. Uh, yeah, I feel he'll be more comfortable. I feel playing him in a more comfortable... Yeah, just do wing back. Complete wing. They're about the same. So, yeah, we'll just leave that. And then Diego Jota. Hmm. But we, hey, we can't make a change. We can't make a change anyway. Unless maybe now we'll bring Neves. See, Neves does... I like him in that role. Because he gets forward. Uh, makes it makes himself a danger. Uh, maybe just Anchorman. Get a defensive role into there. And Andre Andre as well. Um... Instead of roaming playmaker, maybe he can be a deep line playmaker on defense. So at least the midfield roles a tad more defensive. And then the wide men here, guys. And there we go. And see, ooh. Yeah, yeah. I think, I, I just told you how, yeah, it's important to keep going, keep going attacking. But th like I said, it's all in the situation. It's all part of the situation. You've got to analyze. So... You can see what I do, and we'll be more disciplined, and we'll do a mix there, stick to positions, and you can just get a look in of what I do in certain situations. I say, so that's why I don't, don't, a lot of people, I notice of comments I get, and just my whole time on YouTube, it's people really read into what you say a lot with one thing, and but you said this, then you did this. But th th things are very subjective and can change depending on situations and stuff like that. So keep that in mind don't, uh, yeah, just with anyone you watch, I suppose, and here we go, Bonatini, finish it off, no, Pereira makes a save, um, yeah, just don't hold on to what a YouTuber says in their video as, like, the be-all and end-all in that discussion, because they can have different opinions in different situations and that kind of stuff, so, because I just noticed from comments I get, people hold on to one specific thing you say for a really long time, <laughs> I'll say that for sure, and, oh my god, like, really, we should have scored more than three goals in this match if we take a bit of a gander at the at the match stats. Well, we've only had one clear-cut chance, but if you look at the stats as a whole, we've had more. We've had more shots, we've had more chances. We just need to be a bit more clinical and better defensively, and that's why I think, like, we just need better, better players in if we can survive this first season and have a good transfer window, summer transfer window for season two. 
Oh, Vinny Gray Jr. See, that's going to be his danger. Oh, man, they're giving them some credit, but both own goals were good hits initially. So, there we go. He whipped it in. Look, Silva got it to him, and look at that hit. <laughs> he hit it with some... Ven I really like him. Let me know if I should... Uh, yeah, sign him permanently, because he's on loan from Monaco, uh, Ruben uh, Vinigre, I think that's how you say his name anyway. Oh, there is an optional future fee. How much money do we have? Okay, we don't quite have the money there, so there's a future fee. Guys, let me know. Let me know if we should try and get that. Maybe, hopefully, well, we do get the money before the end of the season, you know, for the next season. So, let me know, guys. He's just a danger. So, is he better as a left midfielder, or do you play him as that wing back? So, he suits him, because, yeah, we play at the wingers inside forward. That's what I prefer. And Ruben Nevers, oh, he had a game. He had a game, hadn't he? But he's dangerous. And I saw some skills of him on YouTube, and some highlights, and he's got good skills. So, he's an exciting player. you just seen from that. Now, Halda Costa. Can we make it five? No. Okay. Zahor. Is this Zahor or Zahor Ray? It's like some... Uh, I don't know which European accent. is like, where is Zahor? <laughs> I don't even know what kind of accent I'm trying to do, but... <laughs> where is Zahor? <laughs> oh, my God. No, I'm, I'm not funny at all. Please don't laugh at me. Or, no, you can laugh at me. Don't laugh at the attempted humour, please. Because I'm not funny at all. <laughs> uh, I make myself laugh. That's about it. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. The, it's not over. We could have an. We could still have a chance for five. That's not a bad match then. Finish it. We'll finish them. Vinny Gray Jr. again. Oh, there it is. Right, I always see Raul. <laughs> uh, Raul was one of my uh, favorite players uh, when I was, like, growing up. That makes me sound old, doesn't it? But, like, when I was younger, when I was about, like, 10, 11 growing up, and, yeah, seeing him for Raul, he was absolutely... He was an amazing player uh, for them. So, yeah, I don't mind him having that having that name and him coming up, finishing for us with goals is no surprise. He's not... Is he in Football Manager, Raul? Raul, I... I I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure, but he was... Uh, a lot of Rayuls will come, back, come up, but yeah, he was a great player, uh, for sure. <laughs> that, like I just said, so you see Rayul, his name. And Sean Morrison scores a, a bit of a consolation there, but it's still... The defending doesn't make me happy, but it's like corners, and corners are very dodgy for me. Like, they get the ball in there. We have... like It's not like we don't have defenders there. We've got defenders. They just they're carefree, and they maybe they're in their mind. We've won it already. We've run it already because still we've got a two goal lead, and we're just waiting for it to end right now. Come on, come on! No, <laughs> we waste that chance right there. But guys, we have got three points. It really wasn't looking likely, was it? You probably okay. Mate, you need to change your tactics. It's not working. <laughs> you got to make changes. But no, like I told you, like I told you, I had confidence in this style of play, like little tactic or like f player changes in terms of their roles, that kind of stuff. But it's more so the general setup and style. And I mean, when you have like 20 shots and maybe a bit too much fouls, maybe that's part of the player's frustration. But yeah, you can see with a bit, with a better side uh, like, key players for us, like Raul Jimenez and even Ruben Neves were trying to play him in that role. Then we pushed him back a little bit. Uh, he's very versatile. He's only 21 as well. So, yeah, he's going to grow as a player. We've got a lot of players that time in their career. Well, a few players in that time in their career. And, yeah, we're just going to say assertively what a comeback that was, guys. We cannot we cannot lie about the comeback because we were we were struggling. We were struggling. You see, you see the goals. When was our first goal? We scored the thirty-second minute. We got it right back, didn't we? That's how <laughs> that's how it panned out. But yeah, the first half was a bit inconsistent, and our, both our best goals were own goals, technically. But yeah, dominating, dominating performance. I want to have a, again a bit more of analysis. I'll change up like episodes, what I check out and stuff like that. Uh, the Wolf stats. If you take a look at the key passes, Andre Andre was good there. Yeah, I really, I really like the signing of him and. 
I don't know why Raul Jimenez is there. Like, the striker should be at the bottom. But <laughs> uh, anyway... Uh, yeah, there. If you want to pause and take a look at that yourself, a lot of things I don't, I don't analyze too much. Like, look at all these numbers. Like, of these play. Like, what do I read into all this? I guess you got to click on analyze data. But there's so many. Oh my god, it's, that looks like uh, the the pitch has been invaded with hundreds of dots, <laughs> essentially. Oh man. And that makes me laugh. Uh, when I used to play uh, Football Manager before there was the 3D, um, my dad was like seeing me playing the game. He's like, why are you looking at dots run around on the screen? <laughs> uh, that was funny. Uh, Rayo Jimenez. Okay, Romeo. He's, ooh, I'm not sure that's how you say his first name. It's you See, he's, his name, he sounds like he'll be a good player. <laughs> Where did he come from? Sporting, but he's trash. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, his potential. He's, he's got a great name. <laughs> oh, for sure. But, yeah, unfortunately, he's not good enough. So, anyway, guys, we're out of the relegation zone. That's going to be... That's going to be the goals for the season. That's going to be hard to... I want to... Again, if we analyze the board's expectations from us... Sorry for clicking on the Premier League. We want to see the details. Avoid relegation. Just... That's all we have to do, and we'll keep... Uh, we'll keep the job, but that, that's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. I guess we will just have to continue, and then obviously we have got the Carabao Cup. We've got that against West Ham, so that's going to be that's going to be another match. Well, four days away. I see Andre, Andre. That was a kind of promise we made to him uh, with the signing that we would uh, finish in the top top half by. I think that's the end of the following season. Um, yeah, over six hundred days left. I think. Hmm. We'll have to see, but take a look at the overall balance. I suppose in FM19 that they would like beef up their money a little bit. But if we do go and take a look into the Premier League, if we take a look at the rules, it should it should show the money. Is there was something in terms of how many? I'm not sure. It might not be here exactly. It's the way you finish, but there was something else. Is what's this? Parachute payment. 39 million given first year yeah that kind of stuff so for clubs not relegated one season after being promoted so in terms yeah that was the one the parachute payment so that's good that's good that's what i mean after like the first season you'll see that come into uh fruition uh for us but guys this is going to be that long let's play style so it's not like we're going to play a lot of games off camera and get into that quickly so yeah i'd oh what are we going to do we just continue yeah we'll just continue this point guys uh, three days, three days until uh, that West Ham fixture in the League Cup. We will play that one. I think we'll try and do three games in this one. We'll do West Ham, Watford, and we'll see how that uh, comes along. It's the third round. And I think, like, all Cups this season is not going to be, like, a focus uh, for us. We, we what, uh, the EFL Cup? We've got all three different names here in the abbreviations, like, League Cup and... <laughs> Carabao Cup, but anyway, I think that's something we can do well in, but I think we've done all right so far, um, but we've beaten easier teams, not a team in the Premier League, so we will, we'll have to see how this one goes against West Ham, and ugh, really, that first half, we we're lucky we weren't gone, we kept ourselves... Uh, in the contest, but it wasn't it wasn't great. Uh, work on defending positioning or defensive uh, positioning uh, more correctly. Geronimo really matches City signs him a lot. But uh, okay, yeah. Where's West Ham? Uh, how are they going for their season? West Ham. There's Fulham. West Ham in eleventh. Mm. They've got they've got a good team. And if we just <laughs> comparing to ourselves okay if we just take a look at that again see a lot of like the statistics uh kind of uh things uh like not like big shack i don't check the statistics so much uh where are we um they beat arsenal that's what i was like i was like oh, okay i gotta check that again did i did i see that correctly and yeah, 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 I did. They beat Arsenal. So coming off some great form, excellent form, a beating Arsenal. So that's 
that's a big achievement. That's a big achievement for them. Raul Jimenez there. So he, oh, he's a great pen taker. He's never missed a penalty in his career. So, you know, when we get a penalty and he's going to step up, you know, he's going to finish. And he's only on loan from Benfica as well. There's an option of 33 mil. He's value 4.4. I guess that's the in real life agreements. Because if he has like a big Premier League season, yeah. There's all these other things uh, to put into comparison, but regardless, we're not gonna we're not gonna pay that. We're not gonna pay that for him way overs, even if he has the best season ever, <laughs> that like possible, like scores all the time, like that would be paying overs for him <laughs> by quite a lot. So yeah, while we have him, while we have him on loan, hopefully he just he, he performs for us and. That's all we can do, and maybe, yeah, he, he even, I can't, I, I can't see him scoring like 20 goals in the season, or maybe even more than 10, I don't know, unless we get a lot of penalties, but hey, so far he's done all right, he's done all right, I mean like like 20 Premier League goals, we'll have to see, maybe the goals will add up for him, like he got one so far in four appearances, one every four games is probably what I see from him, if I'm being honest, I'm more relying than... It's like, oh, why are you starting him then? I'm more relying on those inside forwards to be the one. So the next one, West Ham, even if it's at home, we're just going to go more to the standard setup there. So see how we go there. Yeah, and we want the those players on attack, the wide players, so we can, so we can do that. Uh, we'll skip the briefing and we'll process. And we will be, we'll be getting into this cup match. Cup match, Carabao Cup against West Ham, again, I talked about, oh, how maybe th uh, the game I just played against Cardiff will be a reflection at where we're at, because we could have a chance to beat them, <laughs> better chance than other teams, but I like the challenges to see where we are compared to other Premier League sides, so uh, <laughs> we're both inconsistent at the moment, but hey, they just beat Arsenal, so inconsistent, yeah, the, it doesn't mean bad, always, because <laughs> it could be it's still meaning getting victories, so... Again, if we look back, next match, Watford away from home only three days later, and that is a must win, and especially considering Watford, or what's, avoid defeat is a must, I'd love to win it, I'd want to try and win, so that's for sure, so let's take a look, Jordan Graham, what do we do with him, I'm not, not too sure at the moment, we've got some other defenders, I think Courtney House, We'll just give to the under-23s, and Miranda, so we've got, we've got backup centre-backs, See, what I thought there is like, look, Connor Cody, Cody, he's got three-star ability, and if you put him there, technically he'll be better. Maybe if we try and ball-playing defender in his more preferred role as a stopper. And I thought Danny Bart is like one of the leaders, like he's a leader in the team. But then his rating, surprisingly, I think he's got good attributes. Look at those 16s. Like, the green attributes. <laughs> Take a look at the green. Then Connor Cody, like, is... Oh, nah. Like, that's wrong. Surely has to be. How can Connor Cody be the better player? Um, I'm just going by, again, like, the rating. is a good rating for the senior team. And Danny Bart is fairly good. So, obviously, it's close. But, hey. Just trying to... But then... Oh, man. It's it's tough. Vinigre, uh, it's, again, it's always a tough selection when you're, like, a lower team, a lower team in the Premier League, uh, you, you think about your selections, your team selections, tactics, and all of that a little bit more, but no, okay, let's head into it, let's head into it, again, thinking, thinking about it for a little bit, guys, but we will, we'll get into the match now. Will be interesting to see how this one goes. And guys, just take a look at time. I already record this one. It's about 30 minutes, past 30 minutes already. So we'll see where we're at after this match. And maybe we'll, maybe I'll, maybe three is too much to do. Three games. I did say I wanted the episodes to be longer, but again, it's long, long recording time. Long recording time. Keep that in mind. And then I have to get it up get the video up and want to get it uploaded today. So, yeah, I'll probably want to do that for sure. But, guys, also, that's kind of in correlation with uh, me. Okay, we'll see what happens here. Can we score? 
See, this will be a big positive. This will be a big positive. Nah, um, I'll be moving out soon, but I haven't moved out just yet. So it's still a bit, um, it can be a bit busy at home in terms of dogs and whatnot. Like my sister's dog. <laughs> mentioned it a few times. Um, but yeah, when I move out, it shouldn't be too far away uh, now, a few weeks after the World Cup. Uh, yeah, all ready for the kind of before FIFA 19. That's when I want to make it happen. So it should be all good then. And yeah, then you're going to be seeing, like, I'm going to work on videos all day, like do it full time, essentially, regardless of the response, just going to keep making videos. That's what I do. <laughs> like that's to me, that's my job. That's all, all I know now. If I talk about it, if you're thinking about starting YouTube and that kind of thing now, I started in 2012 and now like, I can't imagine like not doing YouTube. Like what, like that's part of my life, you know, like I couldn't just stop doing it. Like I have to. <laughs> so yeah. That's the way it goes for me. How the cost are. Uh, Andre, oh, see, that was great play there, man. That was great play. So, yeah, guys, sometimes I get comments. People say, don't stop YouTube. I'm not sure if you think I'll do that because I don't think I've ever alluded to saying stopping YouTube. Like, I'll never do that. Like, YouTube, what, like, keeps me going, to be honest. What I can reach, I feel, apart from, like, working a normal job, like, it's like... I'll have a more impacts on people than the average person, you know, and we'll see what we do here. We should finish it and we do how the cost are. Uh, but you know what I mean ab about that? Like a general person, like working nine to five, like they're not going to reach people on the other side of the world. So regardless of how well I do, like, like uh, whenever it comes a time for me to leave this world, um, it's like I've reached like more people than the average person would. So uh, I'm, I'm happy about that happy about that so and i've even got i've got nice messages i'm not going to share those because a bit personal and yeah people actually surprisingly uh their days are better because of my videos again i'm not claiming that to be like hundreds of people but yeah definitely i've gotten a few uh few comments a uh, few comments and emails private messages like that and that to me that makes me the happiest like i prefer that over earning millions like or <laughs> the rice gums of youtube and whatnot it's like yeah, and making silly videos. Someone like me could probably technically like reach someone a bit more, <laughs> if you know what I mean, just in terms of the type of content. Because like silly videos doesn't really, yeah, that that doesn't make people. Well, maybe if it makes you laugh, I guess. Yeah, no, no hate on that as well. But I suppose when the content is more meaningful into your into your kind of uh, personal interests until your interest because obviously football manager i used to play it when i was like 16 years old and going through like tough time in school and that was yeah that was my getaway uh get away from that so yeah years later like 10 years later it's still keeping me alive to be honest <laughs> uh with my youtube and all that so yeah it's funny how things have changed a lot but then in some aspects they haven't really changed yeah football manager it's it's an interesting one <laughs> it's an interesting how can you have that connection with it um uh, it gets you into a different world, the FM world, as we call it. You can get really invested into it. So I'm happy I've been able to, yeah, do something. <laughs> do something in terms of that with my content. Oh, so yeah, like I said, with through this series, um, with these comments. I like doing these commentaries, though. It's just, it's really free. And I suppose it's it's like familiar to a live commentary when you would do like a like a stream. And I love streaming, and that's what I will do a lot more. Uh, when I make my move, especially, I'll, um, I had I had some good memories of streaming in the past. So, yeah, definitely intend to do that more if you're wondering about it. But come on, we're, I'm, I'm waiting for a really good chance. And could it be now? No. Ah, oh, come on. Want to see something more. Want to get a second. We've got, an, we've got a goal. So that's good. <laughs> it's always handy, isn't it, to get a goal? But Chicharito, and yeah, guys, we are playing on extended highlights. That's where there is a lot, of course, Correa scores there. So now we need to focus <laughs> after conceding that one. Let's just see, again, low cross in, bumbled. Here's Cullen, got it through to Chicharito. These, yeah, those low crosses are so hard to defend in the box. So, we, we're going to have to have a, oh, but I'm not disappointed, I'm not disappointed with the half, guys, look, we're getting majority of possession, which is good, 
to be fair we try and retain possession it's it's all it's good as long as you do something with the possession for sure so ah disappointed disappointed to concede late in the half as well we had a nice lead like ah we have been the better team here so that's a lot to say let's come on i'm confident Ooh, they make a change eromenko is coming on there he is on the ball right away getting into it ruben neves making a good challenge so guys now i'm confident i think oh look at the ball over top no 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 they do work the ball out of defense on out of each now they're building an attack i'm not sure if anything will come from it like an early half highlights yeah normally there isn't a goal there isn't a goal from that but guys because i did mention it as well oh they get an injury there reese oh declan rice he's he's not bad he's 19 year old so yeah the, the couple good young players uh, if you wanted to leave a thought, like what kind of football manager series you want to see going forward, I mentioned in my last lower league management video, I'm not really sure about the future of that. I feel like I want to do something different. I feel that's what i got to do. Obviously, this year in football manager, especially, it's been overpopulated doing like lower league saves in England and that kind of stuff uh, from a lot of people. So I feel I want to create my own challenge, you know? So if you have any ideas, a one that will be unique, a unique idea, let me know a unique challenge opposed to that lower league in England, which is, yeah, it's, it's a bit old by now. It's a bit old by now. So let me know. And obviously you say journeyman, but again, journeyman is a journeyman is real. I want to create my own challenge like that, you know, or like my own lower league management, my own journeyman thing, like uh, just a different challenge that hasn't been done yet. So I really got to get thinking <laughs> to, uh, to think of a challenge that could really be like that. I think that could do well for me. And yeah, maybe could lead to people doing the series. <laughs> like when I started lower league management a few years ago, when I did Bath City, <laughs> remember that. And there wasn't many others who did that. So yeah, that's, I suppose that's the kind of thing I'm referencing. Uh, if you have any ideas, but guys, there's going to be a similar change. We're going to bring on Vinigre and he's going to go and complete wing back and on attack. We're just going to attack them. <laughs> that's what we're going to do right now. Yeah, take player defense off that, and high tempo. Yeah, let's go attacking now, guys. We'll make that change, and we... See, we're making... It's interesting we're making this change, and not just changing to attack tactic. It's just because there's more specific changes I'd make. Anyway, I'd make... Because then Vinigre is going to make his... I'd make his change in the tactic. So, yeah, there's a lot of... A lot of different... A lot of different things. But we've been, oh, come on, guys. We've been good. We just need the winner. Can we find that? That is going to be the question. It'll be big for us. Because you look at the West Ham, I'd, I'd love to pick some of those players <laughs> and add them into my side. But I have faith in my lads for sure. So, ooh. Who are we going to... Oh, we can't, yeah, we can't do the two striker situation again. Uh, let's see who could come on. Cavalero? Uh, both wingers have been real good. Andre, Andre, and we'll bring on Enzai. Yeah, same role. Let's see. Come on, can we find this winner? And maybe, let's say, okay, we'll see what we do here. Okay, let's just say, ooh, get creative. Let's see what's going to be done here. We've been... All right, this has probably been our best match so far against a, a good quality compared to us, you know what I mean? Apart from Cardiff, like, uh, that was one I targeted as a win for sure. And obviously, this is not in the league. This is in the cup, in, in the league cup. But, yeah, oh, just not a corner, please. Okay, at least we didn't concede a penalty. Now, let's focus on winning the ball back and then counter. That's what we're hoping for, but will that... See, look, defense, I think we're covering the players uh, very well. Oh, no. That's going to hurt, I can tell. That's going to hurt us. Yeah, I can... Okay, no, Bolly clears. Win this. Now go, Halder Costa. Oh, I thought he played it too early, but it... No. Cross it back in. Cross it back in. Okay, we've got five minutes now. And we're going to see what is going to happen. Who is going to win this? Who's going to get a winner? If someone will. Oh, Bonatini, you got to score. you got to score this. 
oh man i thought uh we've got to see on the replay was there was there a save on that i don't really know so <laughs> we'll take a look but great great finish in the end but the ball it was the ball where are we uh silver got it through or jota uh bonatini yeah it went off adrian um adrian good hey good try <laughs> Good try, the attempt to save it. And see, now we'll just say tighten up. Make sure we tighten up. But Diego Jota, or Silva, whatever he prefers to be called, he was instrumental. He was... Uh oh, no, don't concede! Oh, get off, fucking Roman. So, we just, we won it. We won the match there. That's annoying, you fucking cunt. Yeah, Sorry, sorry for getting mad. I can't. I just hate those equalizers right away. <laughs> getting a bit angry. <laughs> getting a bit angry. Angry YouTube. Please don't demonetize me. Uh, <laughs> come on. Oh, we. Ah, uh, that's tough. That's tough, guys. End of ninety minutes. We had the we had the win. We're still gonna we're still gonna have an opportunity in extra time, but we had it. We had it there. It was in our hands, and we dropped it. We let it go. Oh, come on, we we'll gotta do this. Good tackle. Uh, but yeah, even more so the fact it will be. Uh, extra time now we'll make this match go a bit longer so we'll end it after this match guys but it will be so good it will be so good to get a couple wins here uh, make this episode pretty successful <laughs> so oh don't tell me it's going to be a pen shootout though uh i'm not really sure i, I need we took off jimenez oh in hindsight man hindsight's a wonderful thing mate but he would have been a nice pen taker to have on can we bring him back on? Oh, Saiz. Ruben Neves. Ruben Neves, that's why we got to keep pushing to get a winner again. It's crazy how we have to do it again. I just hate when you concede instantly. It's funny how you can concede instantly, then maybe not concede for about 20 minutes or so. That happens sometimes. But they they, they get it back in like right away. Right away. That's so annoying. And I have a feeling it is going to be... It is going to be a pen shootout. I don't notice so many goals in extra time. We might get one here. No, that's just going to be a goal kick. Tackled. Ooh, not too long after that, there's a highlight, though. So, let's see. Let's see what's going to come from this one. Zabaleta, Antonio. Now it's Correa. Oh, so he's good interception. Now go over the top. No. Silver. <laughs> Not quite going to work. Diop goes back to Adrian. Okay. Could this be the winner? No. <laughs> Got a, a bit excited, but we're going to get possession back. We're still waiting. What is this highlight going to be? Ball over the top to Bonatini. Oh, that was, that was a good ball, wasn't it? Good effort. Okay. Say concentrate here. Guys, I'd hate to concede a late one as well, but I, I'd want to win this. Mm, ooh, good save. Good save. Guys. I'm still annoyed. We had the lead. We conceded so late. Look look at that. 85th minute, 86. Like a, a minute later, we conceded, essentially. Nothing is more frustrating in Football Manager. It's, there's a lot of things that can be frustrating in Football Manager, to be fair. But that's definitely one of them. Held across the plate across. Play it across. We've got to score. We've got to score. That should be 3-2 right there, guys. And we should be advancing. If we go on to pens and lose it on penalties, that's what I blame. And there's penalties, like, right now, as soon as I slam my mouse down. So, held a uh, we just have to do it in order of the best. That's all we can do at this point really that's uh we don't even have our best pen taker on so that's not ideal jota will put there 
And yeah, I'm hoping it's not going to go to that. Uh, who knows? Has anyone had like a really long pen shootout? For this guys though, we're going to go to uh, TV. No TV. Director. Surely one of them. Data and... Uh, why did I click down? I, I'm, I'm just clicking anyone. Uh, behind goal. Yeah, we'll do that. For this angle. Halda Costa step up and he scores. I just tried to get one that's the one that's behind the player though. But there's not there's not that option. Or oh, no, you reverse it. I've just got to switch up the zoom. Hold on guys, we've we've got this. Oh, is that That's a full zoom? That's full zoom. I'm surprised. I'll lower the camera height a bit. Because I want to see behind. How, do, how does this look? Is it not too far away? Chikorito. Oh, good save. That looks like his experience points just went up for saving it. Cresswell. Oh. That's a goal. Let me know. Let me know on the angles anyway. <laughs> And I, oh, I'm not, I don't like that switch. Lucky. Okay, guys. See, so if you click on director. Okay, director is that. I found it out. Oh, no, it changed. I don't even know what to do. Okay, there we go. It changed. All the switching around made my players confused. Or well, Bonatini, at least. Because it showed from that angle there. Yeah? Ah, oh, then it switches to it. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> so I eventually got it before someone said it in a comment. Maybe someone would have thought to say it. <laughs> Correa. And switches. Okay. Mm, so, where are we at? We need to score this. This is where we're at. Ruben Neves. Come on, Ruben. You've got this. <laughs> Never in doubt. Great position to hit a pen. Oh, my God. Vinny Gray Jr., you got to score this, lad. you got to score this. Tucked home really well. Last two from younger players, but talents, yeah, you've seen that in them, that they're going to be quality players in the future. So a bit of pressure here on Zabaleta. We've got those two in a row. Now, Zabaleta, he, he picked up a yellow card. That doesn't really matter at this point <laughs> in the match, but I like the position we're in because there's pressure on this. See, look at the angle. See, why isn't it consistent? Why isn't it consistent? So there's that. Okay. Antonio. Pressure. No. He scores. So, now it's more the pressure on us. Oh, because this is where the, the worst pen takers come in. You got Cody. But I think he could score. Uh, or it's more I'm hoping he'll score. And he does. See, that penalty with that aim is perfect. And that power. Now, Doherty. Yes. Yeah, keep hitting him like that, lads. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. And see, what I mentioned earlier about the training, you could train your players to take certain pens a certain way and then switch it up because obviously you don't want to be red all the time. But... Uh, by the keepers, knowing the style of pens your team does, but you get the point. So maybe this could be a long pen shooter at this point. Here's Oxford, he has to score, and that was cool. Cool finish. Now Cullen. What is he going to do? He steps up, and it's a save. It is a save. We're in a great position right now. Told you, like, for this upcoming season, he's a great signing, Rui Patricio. He's going to come up uh, in some big games. Uh, for Wolves, calling it now, calling it early, he'll be big, I feel, I want to pick him as my fantasy Premier League keeper, come on Saiz, could he win this, no, you had the chance, you had the chance, but, now it's Diego Jota, that is a good finish, now, <laughs> we're just like waiting oh we had the chance to go clear though but and well go clear win it <sighs> guys 
I, I don't even know how long this is going to go right now. This video could almost go to an hour just from this penalty shootout. It could reach it. Oh, it's a finish. Yeah, guys, let me know in Football Manager if you can even remember. I can't remember if I had a long... But I can't remember I had a huge one. Diop! Score. Oh, the pressure is on. The pressure is on, and we don't... This is going to be one of our worst pen takers. And we're going to... It's Willy Bolly! You're going to have to score, and I'm not 100% confident. Like... I'm hoping he will, but if he misses, I won't be surprised. Like, defender... Like, some defenders can be good at pens, but the defenders with not good pen taking... Uh, had the weird angle. They didn't make it like it normally is. I'm blaming that. I'm blaming that. Make the behind... That wouldn't make a difference. I'm just being stupid. <laughs> but, yeah, we get knocked out because of that. But it showed what I'm more happy with. Because we weren't going to go on to win the cup. Like, the League Cup. We weren't going to do that. So... The performance we had against West Ham, who's probably a respectable, maybe say around mid-table side in the Premier League, yeah, we held our own and probably should have won in 90 minutes. So we'll take that. We'll take that. You know, Penn's always a lottery. <sighs> very, very tough. I, I wasn't confident in Willy Bolly. I knew he had five pen taking, so the chances are he probably was going to miss it. The shot was going to be weak. and <sighs> Disappointed, disappointed, but I'm not disappointed with the performance we put out against them. So, guys, we're going to leave it there. Uh, I feel it was, a good, it was a good episode because we got out of the relegation from that match, at least. But the challenge now is to get victories against teams like, realistically, maybe a Watford or a Leicester. And we've got to win, win these, at least, some matches. We can't win so many. Or even, like, matches in a row might be hard. But, like, a Watford away from home, yeah, it would be nice to get a bit of a, a breathing space from the relegation zone. So let me know, like, realistically what you think we can achieve this season. But, hey, at this point as well, um, in my series, in Football Manager, I don't take it too seriously. Hopefully you see that. I don't, like, really... I'm not so worried if I lose a match or something like that. It's not, like, the end of the world. I just have fun with it. And, hey, if I end up struggling with Wolves and get fired, maybe that will happen if we get relegated or whatever. Like, hey, that's not that's not a bad thing. Like, I, I don't sit down and be unhappy about that. I just, ooh, okay, let's see what save I'm going to do next. Like, I'm a pretty positive person in real life. You, maybe you can tell that. It's like, I don't sit and focus on negatives too much. Just focus on the positives. Like, <laughs> it's like easy. It's like, ugh. it's funny. Like, after a day out and I come back and I see like a comment and it's like so hateful. <laughs> it's funny because I can tell they were just sitting at home hating on YouTube while I was out with a girl or something like that. So it's like, who, like, <laughs> I'm like, I read that comment. Okay. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> it's like, why would I care about <laughs> that? <laughs> I just had a very good time. <laughs> that's actually something that's happened <laughs> regularly. <laughs> it's funny. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Just so you see from my point of view, how I treat it. It's like, uh, yeah, it's all fun here. It's all fun from my point of view. But we'll leave it there and I'll see you guys next time.